Okay, today we're going to be talking about how to properly health check your dog. Uh, so this would basically be uh, me teaching you to go over the eyes, checking the nose, the mouth and teeth and the gums, uh, inside the ears, checking the coat and skin, uh, looking at the feet and the nails, uh, the undercarriage, the private areas and the tail. Uh, so this will be able to help you spot any early signs of health conditions that might be appearing. Uh, I would highly recommend doing this one to three times a week. So we'll start at the front end first and we'll start with the ears. So you just want to look inside the ear if you lift it open. Uh, so you can see with Fizz's, it is a little bit dirty. Um, it's literally just from where she's been out rolling about in the grass and got a bit of dirt in there. So I will demonstrate how to clean those in another video. Um, so there shouldn't be any redness, uh, no yeast buildup, um, so no inflammation, no cuts or nicks. Next, we'll look at the eyes. So if I can just get you to open your eyes, sweetie. So there shouldn't be any redness, no cloudiness. Um, there shouldn't be any discharge. Fizz has a little bit of crustiness coming out of her eyes there, but again, I can demonstrate how to clean those in another video. Um, so you also want to just check the skin around the eyes. So Fizz does have a little mole just underneath her eye, but it's not causing her any issues at all. Um, so yeah, she's not got any injuries to her eye either, she's quite happy letting me have a little look, apart from trying to go to sleep now. <laughs> so now we'll take a look at the nose. So Fizz does have a little bit of dryness on the top of her nose, um, so I'm going to use a little bit of snout balm on that to bring the moisture back. Uh, there shouldn't be any cuts or nicks around that area, no discharge coming out of the nose, uh, shouldn't be any dryness or cracked skin, uh, it should be quite moist, which fizzes actually is at the front there. She does have a little scar just there on the front of her nose, but it's not causing her any issues. Um, a really good thing you can do is keep a notebook of your findings every time that you do this and just regularly update it on anything, if there's anything new you find on your dog um, and then just take them to the vets if you're concerned about it. Now we'll take a look inside the mouth. Let's have a little look sweetie. Good girl, well done. So you want to be able to have a look at the gums, the teeth, and actually inside the mouth. So the gums should be a healthy pink colour. Uh, Fizz does have some pigmentation on her gums, which is normal. Um, so you want to look at the teeth as well. There shouldn't be any broken teeth. There shouldn't be any chips, none missing. They should be quite white or a little bit yellowy. So we're now going to check the undercarriage, uh, so you want to check the nipples, there shouldn't be any cuts, no bruises, no scratches, no bleeding. Um, with the bitches they sometimes do produce milk if they are unspayed and they're having a phantom pregnancy, that is usually normal at that time. Um, if not then uh, you do need to just get them checked out at the vets quickly. Um, so we're just going to move down a little bit, good girl down here. So Fizz does have an umbilical hernia. Uh, this isn't uncommon amongst most dogs and isn't usually life-threatening. Just obviously keep an eye on the size of it as they're growing. Um, so onto the belly. Fizz has got a couple of little marks here and there but that usually comes off in the bath. Um, so I can't see any cuts or bruises on her skin. It's nice and clean. And then the last area we just want to quickly move on to uh, is the private area. So it's usually with the girls it's the vulva, uh, with the boys uh, it's penis and testicles. So you just want to make sure that there's no discharge at all, that they're um, not flinching at all when you're checking around that area. Uh, again, no cuts, no bruises, no swelling. Um, so just definitely keep an eye on them. If there's any changes to those areas, obviously um, seek advice from your vet. Uh, with the girls, it's not uncommon for them, if they're in season, for the, the, that back area to sort of swell up a little bit. 
Uh, so that's all part of the process and it does usually swell back down, uh, go, goes back down to its normal size within a couple of weeks after the season. So you also need to check uh, in between the toes from the top view. So you just want to spread them very, very slightly so that you can just look in between. There shouldn't be any matting in there. Fizz, again, has got a little bit of dirt in there where she's been running through the mud. Um, but there's no sores in there. This is really handy because um, it's nearly grass seed season as well. So you need to be checking constantly to see if there's any grass seeds in there. Um, if there is, then definitely take them to the vets because they're going to need that to come straight out. Um, so yeah, Fizz is looking all clean, so there's nothing wrong with the skin there. Uh, checking the nails as well, there shouldn't be any cracked nails, none missing, none bleeding. Um, so they should be cut to a nice length as well. Fizz has got a little bit of length to them, but there's nothing to write home about really. Okay, so next we'll look at the coat in the skin. So you just want to keep part in the fur to seep down to the skin. Uh, there shouldn't be any parasites running around on the skin, no lumps or bumps, uh, no soreness, no nicks or cuts, no hot spots or sores. Uh, it should be all clean and no flakiness. Uh, the coat you want to look for, uh, she has got a little bit of undercoat here, which I'm going to demo in the brushing video how to brush the coat. Uh, so we'll get that out um, and then you want to be looking for it should be a nice uh, shiny coat shouldn't be no bold patches at all um, so it should be nice and shiny no dullness and that's what you're looking for with that we'll now check the tail so you want to be feeling right from the base of the tail all the way up the tailbone. There shouldn't be any kinks, no lumps and bumps. Uh, there shouldn't be any cuts. If you can just gently pull the hair apart so you can look at the skin. So no cuts, no gashes, nothing bleeding at all, no flaky skin. Um, you might get a little bit of flaky skin around this part of the tail, which is where the gland sits. Uh, that's usually completely normal. Um, so the hair should also not be matted at all in the tail. That goes for everywhere else over the body. So the next area you want to check is the anus. Um, so with this bit you just want to gently move the tail out the way. Um, go quite steady with it because it is part of the spinal cord it can be quite sensitive. So there shouldn't be anything hanging around that area. No sores, no cuts, no lumps. Uh, if it is looking particularly dirty around there, just give it a little bit of a clean up with some cool cotton ball or some damp kitchen roll. Um, if the hair is covering the anus, um, they're not gonna be able to go to the toilet properly. So you might just need to try and get some disposable gloves. Gently protect the skin with your hand, with one hand, and cut the hair with your other hand and pull um, a pair of small detailing scissors. Just go as carefully as you can, just so that you can uncover that area. Uh, so if it is smelling particularly fishy around this area, that could indicate that your dog might need its anal glands expressing. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't a job for groomers, it's a job for vets because they have anal glands on the inside of the anus as well as the out. And us groomers don't want to cause any injury because we can only get to the outside one. Uh, so if you have any problems like that, please contact your vet.